Hello everyone and welcome back to another uh, One Piece discussion. This uh, shouldn't be a too long of a video as compared to the last video that I made. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you haven't, uh, which <laughs> not only one person has seen that last video I made, you know, I, I, I would really appreciate if you guys can go over there and watch it. You know, even if it's like for like, I don't know, 10 seconds because, you know, I, I, I worked to... Uh, I didn't work really hard on the video, but I did work hard on writing the script for it, so I, I really would appreciate that. But anyways, um, on to the actual content of this week's uh, chapter. And the, this isn't like the greatest chapter to make a video about. Um, but I, I definitely wanted to make this video for a handful of reasons. The first reason is that I want to get into more making these videos uh, to get out to you guys. And there's going to be a break next week. And then after 10.47, there will be another break. So I think this is a really great time to make a video. Um, not a lot happened in this chapter. Uh, I haven't really done like a review of a chapter in a while. Um, but really, uh, I could review in like, like, ten, like, I don't know, not even a minute. <laughs> uh, Rizo, I guess, somehow took a lot of Zanisha's water that was thrown on the, um, uh, city, which I, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really know when this took place, but I, I do like, um, this constant threat of bringing Odin back, but I feel like I can't be the only one that thinks that the, these threads of Odin being brought back are completely at the wrong time. I, I, <laughs> I just don't understand why, why is this happening now? Like, the only reason that, that I question this, it's still a good, great chapter, but I just think that this is not the time to be having Rizo in a flashback and with the, the you know, like somehow he saved all this water and his squirrels, which is cool. You know, I'm not really understanding his devil fruit at all, but um, it, it, it just is not the time. Uh, this feels very much like if you guys have been on the channel for a while, uh, when I rev when I famous maybe not famously but famously on this channel um, <laughs> uh, reacted to chapter one thousand four and it was like uh what the f well, what the fuck is this like it was such a pointless it was a chapter that was a set a humongous setup chapter that got rid of all of the gifters thank God at the time. And again, this is the same thing. This fire has been happening forever, for eternity. It has been going on for so long. It's like the ice oni bullets. It's something to stop the fodder. It's been going on for too long. So I'm very glad, happy that it got solved like that. Rizo was smart. At least he had a plan. You know, props to the man. He actually had a plan. Um, so it was really cool. He had a plant. This, this man had a plan. He absorbed all the water, put it out. Then Jim Bay was like, Hey, Hey, I got you. Like if you have faith in him, then you have faith in me. And I think that's the theme of this week is faith. Uh, not only just having faith in yourself, faith in yourself, but having faith in, in others, even if, even if you don't know that person that well. And I think, and the times that we're in right now, I think that's kind of a nice message. Oda usually tries to have kind of a nice message uh, in terms of whatever, um, you know, times we're having. So I think, you know, because the chapter starts out with Zunisha saying, I think this is um, Joy Boy, like, oh, this is so exhilarating. It's like, you know, and it, it's like if, if Brooke found out that his captain was still alive, I mean, he'd be pretty excited, you know? It's like Lambu, actually, you know what? No, it's more like Lambu with Brooke. You know, if, if Lambu could actually communicate, you know, he would, he or she, whatever Lambu is, would be pretty excited that um, Brooke is still alive. Um, but yeah, so I, I and there, there's also a clarification there. I guess what Zanisha is saying is that. Uh, Zunisha thinks that, um, you know, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. But Zunisha thinks that uh, Luffy is actually Joy Boy, right? But it's interesting is his laugh is says Nika, and his devil fruit is Nika. So I, I thought that Joy Boy and Nika were the same person, but maybe they're not. Maybe they are, maybe Joy Boy was a descendant of Nika. I think 
maybe that's that's something that makes a lot more sense than him just being somebody that randomly found the gum gum well well i guess the hito hito no model nika fruit um but I, I, it's kind of fun. I like, I like how Zanish has been getting this characterization, and, and and she's like, oh, like, Joy Boy, we should have faith in this boy, which is really, really nice. Um, it's a really nice uh, s segment uh, into the whole like Jimbei like having trust in Rizo and and you know Rizo having trust in him because you know even though they've never really met, I I didn't really realize that they never had met. And thankfully, the fire's gone. We have a setup. All the fights are done. So the fire should be done. Well, actually, I, I should say that, but there's still one CP0 member left. Um, and uh, apparently, uh, one, the number one number and Apu are going to have a squabble. And probably Apu's going to get squashed because at this point. Um, and we've got Sea Killer again. Uh, Zoro is drawn in a really bad panel. Sometimes Oda draws his shoulder panels really bad, and it looks like his arms cut off. Uh, but we know that's not the case, but it's just drawn poorly. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, you know, I hope it, in, Oda enjoys his break uh, at all, and um, you know, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and your week. And uh, yeah, pretty quick chapter, uh, but pretty. Pretty solid message of, of having faith in, in one another. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> have a good one. Bye.